Welcome to this Saturday Travel and History Tip, and we are continuing in the state of Wyoming. Last week, we talked about J.C. Penney, and this week, we're starting a series on the immigrants that have traveled through Wyoming and all the historic sites that are worthwhile to go see in Wyoming. Wyoming is a fabulous state to visit, and I certainly encourage you to do that. From Coulter to Bridger, the Snake River to South Pass, and fish fossils to wagon ruts, there's just no better state to tour. In June of 1812, Robert Stewart and six men from the Pacific Fur Company left Fort Astoria, Oregon. A Shoshone guide led them across the Continental Divide following a faint Indian foot trail. It was the long-kept secret, South Pass. The 20-mile wide pass through the Rocky Mountains was inside dangerous Indian-held land. They essentially followed the future Oregon Trail. This is the only major American immigrant trail traveled first from west to east. Not until 1824 did a party of mountain men, who included Jedediah Smith, travel across the forgotten South Pass in a westward direction. Smith is credited with opening up the trail. And this Saturday Travel and History Tip will serve as an introduction to these fabulous sites. I just want to whet your appetite today. The National Park Service publishes interpretive guides for the auto trail routes of the Pioneer Trails. And brown signs and trail insignias identify the routes and points of interest along the roadways. The Oregon, Pony Express, Mormon Pioneer and California Trails are described in one 77-page booklet as they weave across wonderful Wyoming. The 2,170-mile Oregon National Historic Trail is the best known of the immigrant trails. In the spring of 1843, a wagon train of nearly 1,000 people, primarily farmers, looking for a new life organized at Independence, Missouri, planning to reach Oregon country. For the next three decades, a flood of individuals followed these early pioneer paths. In 1836, a Christian missionary party headed by Dr. Marcus Whitman and his wife Narcissa bravely set out to reach the Willamette Valley. Eliza Spalding and Narcissa Whitman were the first white women of European heritage to enter present-day Wyoming and the first women to cross the Continental Divide at South Pass, doing so on July 4th, 1836. And we will learn in the Saturday Travel and History Tips the importance of July 4th for the immigrants. The California National Historic Trail follows the path of the Oregon Trail through Wyoming. The Mormon Pioneer National Historic Trail split from the main route of the Oregon Trail west of South Pass and continued south to Fort Bridger. Leaving Omaha, Nebraska early in 1847, the Mormon Church's spiritual leader Brigham Young led a 148-member Pioneer Company west. Pass through the decorative gate leading to the Mormon Handcart historic site with Devil's Gate in the background. Wyoming offers 30 state parks, historic sites, and trails. One is Fort Bridger State Historic Park, named after Virginian James Jim Felix Bridger, renowned mountain man and inimitable storyteller, was a celebrity in the Western fur trade and an icon of the West. And I can't wait to tell you one of Jim Bridger's famous stories but you'll have to wait. In the tiny town of Fort Bridger, learn more about this larger-than-life figure at the Fort Bridger State Historic Park with costumed interpreters, a reconstructed fort, the remains of the Cobble Rock Wall erected by the Mormons, and a bronze statue of James Bridger. Take a step back in time and venture around South Pass. South Pass City State Historic Site in South Pass City endures as an authentic artifact. One of the most notable landmarks on the immigrant trails is experienced at Independence Rock State Historic Site. Find out why it's called Independence Rock and, again, the importance of July 4th. But you'll have to wait till the Saturday when we talk about Independence Rock. Three miles south of Guernsey, the Oregon Trail funneled down to an outcropping of soft sandstone south of the North Platte River. From the parking lot at Oregon Trail Ruts State Historic Site, follow the marked path to the best preserved and most impressive ruts on the Oregon Trail. And just a short distance away from the tracks, see Register Cliff, where fur trappers and pioneers etched their names, dates, and other messages into the soft, chalky, 100-foot-tall limestone cliff, beginning in the 1820s. I hope I've piqued your interest, because Wyoming is rich in American history. Learn it. Love it. Appreciate it. 
Don't let them steal our history. Share our American history. Hope you watch the Saturday Travel and History Tips. And if you appreciate our content, tell others and repost on your social platforms. Thank you.